Okay, um, my first question is, how did you get started in acting? How did you become an actor? Wow, those are two different questions. Uh, I started when, uh, you know, I've always wanted to be an actor, even if you're a filmmaker or, you know, I was making uh, movies with an 8 millimeter camera when I was a kid, and uh, I always wanted to be either an actor or a filmmaker. And I noticed in college when I was taking some theater classes and some film classes that the applause from an audience is so much faster when you're on stage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it usually takes, what, several months to a couple of years to make a film. And so it was just a quicker thing. Um, so, yeah, I went the actor route. Are you mostly a stage actor or do you mostly do film and television? Uh, I do everything. Uh, in the States here, we can't afford to be choosy. So, um, oh boy, I love the stage. And I've done, you know, like around 200 plays over the years. Yeah. But but in the United States, it's really hard to make a living just doing uh, theater. Yeah. Unless, you know, you're in a main city like uh, New York or Chicago. Los Angeles has a smaller theater scene, which is strange to say, but they only have about uh, six or seven large theaters where you could actually earn money. But we have a very large market here with a lot of actors. Yeah. So. What is the most challenging part of being an actor? Oh, boy, that's a good question. <laughs> This is coming from the perspective that you want to be an actor, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think really the most difficult thing is keeping your mentality strong. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because some days it, it will seem like, well, this is impossible, you know. Uh, <laughs> but do you know that feeling? Yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I don't know uh, if this is relevant or not, but uh, when I was very young and I was considering being an actor, like uh, I was in high school and I was working a, a job being a night greenskeeper at a golf course. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was doing a lot of praying then because, uh, you know, sprinklers would stick and uh, water would come shooting up at you at 2.30 in the morning, you know. <laughs> But I was considering about being an actor and praying at the same time. And the answer that came to me, you know, I kept thinking, well, I'm not good enough looking to be an actor. And, you know, uh, there's nothing to uh, fall back on and blah, blah, blah. I had, uh, I came to the part in uh, the Lord's Prayer about give us this day our daily bread. Mm -hmm. And I I realized, you know, it's like, okay, well, for today, I can do this, you know. Uh, this could be my daily bread for today, and if tomorrow I need to do something else, I can do it. So, so I decided to try to be an actor, and that was uh, 47 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I didn't I... mean to get all religious. I was just referring to the literature. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> When I'm older, I want to be an actor and a voice actor. That's why I've been doing my radio program for four or five years, something like that, to talk to. Wow. <laughs> how, how amazing. And you do the, you do editing and everything, right? Yeah, but I have some help with the editing. I'm not good with the editing part, so. Okay. That's fantastic. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I've been, what? Do, say, say again? I was just wondering what part about uh, being an actor intrigues you. I just like the act. Ever since I was a little kid, um, I always liked, uh, you know, watching um, comedy and uh, just uh -huh. watch making people laugh and stuff. And uh, ah, fantastic. 
and the... yeah, that dynamite. I I always loved that, and I had a little facility for it about making people laugh. It's it's very powerful, you know. If people can yeah. just laugh so hard that they forget themselves for a little bit, it's a great feeling. Yeah, it is. Besides being a on-screen television actor, you're also a voice actor. Is that correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. I've uh, heard your voice in a couple of uh, video games and stuff. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you play a lot of games? Um, time to time. I can't do a lot as I used to because of the radio show. But you know. Right. I, right. Very time consuming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. The video games—it's uh, interesting. I uh, one of the first ones I did way back when um, we were doing um, green screen, so we were all in makeup. Uh-huh. Uh, it was Jedi Knight. Yeah, Star Wars Jedi Knight. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I realized the power of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> A guy in my acting class, a young guy, came up to me and said, uh, Oh, man, you were blocked. Man, I have killed you so many times. And it's like, oh. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, yeah, it's a huge market now. Yes, it is. Um, and uh, it's incredible how video games and, you know, voice animation has grown through the years, you know, because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was uh, kind of wonderful. I was working on a, it's a motion capture show that's going to be on Netflix uh, probably in 2018. Mm -hmm. A wonderful thing, uh, science fiction, and that's about all I can say about it. But I was working with, uh, we were just talking to some of the technicians and um, Mm -hmm. they were talking about Skyrim. You know, The Elder Scrolls? Yes, I've played that game well. Familiar. Yeah, and I... <laughs> and his son is actually in the business, too, and they were both standing there. And I said, oh, you play that? Oh, cool, because I was in it. <laughs> and they said, who were you? And it was like, uh, at first I couldn't remember. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm Harkin, the king of the vampires. Yeah. And <laughs> they were both just blown away. It's like, all of a sudden, I was... <laughs> I was a huge star to them. It was kind of wonderful. <laughs> yeah. I think that's funny, you know, um, being a voice actor or just a character actor, they don't recognize the person, they just recognize the voice or the face, you know, at once. Right. Yeah. It's true. At it's once. very strange. Well, <laughs> but, but then the dark side of this is that... Uh, at one point, I don't know why, I looked myself up online uh, after after the Star Wars, uh, you know, Jedi Knight, and I I didn't hadn't really heard anything, you know, for apt, but the uh, some guy had uh, written in who was apparently married to a casting director, uh-huh. but he was totally anonymous, and he said, uh, you know, that his wife was walking through the room while they were playing that game. And uh, he was, you know, he killed me in the game and said, ah, another bad actor fights it. And his wife looks at the screen like, that's time Winters. He shouldn't be doing that. It's just like, oh, I got so depressed. (laughs) But I noticed his name wasn't on the article. He was talking about me, though. So it was kind of creepy. I didn't mind it. (laughs) That's the strange part of the Internet. (laughs) It is, yeah. There is a darkness there. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Do you have any upcoming projects, as in voice acting or film and television? Any upcoming projects you can share with us? Boy, uh, let me see. As far as voice goes, no. I'm in several films that are coming up. Uh, uh, There's a horror film that we're still working on called In the Forest. Uh, uh-huh. Adam McKay, who directed and um, the best picture, I think it was the best picture, the big short last year. Uh-huh. I'm in his film Backseat, uh, and I hear Christian Bale and uh, Amy Adams are in it also, but I didn't get to work with them. 
Uh-huh. But uh, stuff like that. Uh, and I was just on uh, You're the Worst uh, this week, actually. Yeah, wow. Uh, it's a Fox <laughs> TV series. Yeah, I, I've heard of that show. I... Yeah. Oh, and there's another film called Plus One that I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping busy. That's that's good. <laughs> I like yeah. I yeah. like keeping busy. You know, it keeps me sane. You know, I don't go crazy. That's so important. That's yeah. That I think is one of the great rules you can live with. Is that when I lived in New York, I was always involved in uh, you know doing a reading or doing a play or you know going somewhere and working with people and it. Because otherwise, if you're sitting around waiting for the phone to ring from an agent, you know, it's like, <laughs> just gives your sanity goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I've talked to a lot of other actors, and they say, um, you know, if you're going in for an audition, you know, um, think positive, you know, because if you get all nervous and stressed out and think negative, you won't get mm-hmm. the part when you go in for the audition. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of truth to that. I, I, um, <laughs> the way I act, I love to get deeply involved in story, you know, uh-huh. try and find out what I, as the person in the story, would be thinking about and really keep digging and digging and digging so that when I go into the room, mm-hmm. I'm still just trying to get you know, get what I need as the person in the story, as opposed to performing, which is going in and, you know, thinking about how I'm going to do something. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. I, uh, I'll just rattle on until you stop me. I, uh, when I was a kid, a friend and I, Skip, used to, uh, play Star Trek, you know? Uh-huh. And then, uh, he actually was killed in a car accident uh, when he was in college. But uh, one day, you know, when I first got out to Los Angeles from New York, uh-huh. I kept telling my agent, I'd really like to be on, you know, Star Trek Next Generation. <laughs> they said, yeah, yeah, sure. But I was doing a play one night, and uh, it was opening night, and they said, if you can get over to Fox, mm-hmm. uh, there's an audition for a new bad guy on Star Trek, you know, so it's like, I'll be there, I don't care, and so I drove in traffic across Los Angeles, got there, audition, uh, and then they said, can you come back the next day, which I could, you know, and mm-hmm. it, we were bad guys, and so I, uh, <laughs> we all... We were, all were basically dressed the same way. Bad guys, you know, they all dress in black and they're very military looking and stuff. Yeah. And so I was trying to figure out, well, you know, we're all the same here. And then I realized, no, in the story, my character despises the Federation. I hate being here. I don't want to be on the Enterprise. I hate these people. They're just judging me. And so when I walked into the room, instead of, you know, trying to show them what a bad guy I was, uh-huh. I just despised them all. Uh, there were about 20 people sitting there watching me and judging me. And I was thinking, oh, these are the, you know, all these people are with the Federation and I despise them. They gave me the job before I left the room. <laughs> just because, you know, it was it was very human. <laughs> which they need to, even for aliens. <laughs> and uh, but it was great. Then we, then they immediately took me over to makeup and stuff. And uh, I thought about Skip, you know? Mm-hmm. And I actually did get to beam onto the USS Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. 